I'm James and thanks for uh, tuning in. I want to talk a little bit today about the history of this very important uh, project that originally was built at VMware, now um, the core of Pivotal's platform called Bosch. Um, it was started uh, back in 2010 right here in VMware's headquarters when uh, a couple of really great Google engineers uh, came to VMware to build cloud scale automation. And that's the, that's the backstory to Bosch. We're going to talk a little bit about how some of that Google scale, Google purity, cloud native thinking uh, made Bosch, I think, one of the most underappreciated but powerful uh, pieces of technology that enterprises are using today. So the name Bosch was a reference uh, to Google Borg. The next two letters in the alphabet after R and G are S and H. And so from the start, the idea was to build the plus plus version of Borg um, for enterprise users and with an idea of doing it on any cloud. Now, what are some of the design thinking that went into that? The first debate that was had was, should this kind of declarative automation, this scheduler at the heart of uh, Cloud Foundry and the platform support any operating system or uh, a more rarefied list of operating systems. One of the really brilliant decisions that was made by the original Google Core engineering team at VMware around Bosch was limiting Bosch to have one embedded operating system. I like to ask every enterprise organization I meet, how many operating systems does your X Fortune 1000 company have? Almost always there's a pause, people start to consider, and I've rarely left the room without at least 50 to 60 different versions, let alone patch levels, of operating systems. Now, I asked them, how many did these engineers we were working with to build uh, Bosch deal with at Google, at Google scale of millions of servers? And the answer is one. Um, something called the prod image is the only operating system that almost everything at Google runs on. And so from the start, by embedding the operating system into Bosch, it really changed the game on how enterprises could consume and automate infrastructure. It raised that abstraction such that the embedded OS was managed by the platform. And so as you go to patch things, um, that's built in. And a lot of organizations are looking at Bosch purely from an OS automated patching perspective because that's just so painful for them today. But I want to talk about a few other really critical design decisions that went into making this powerful because these three features really work together. The next decision that was made is that it would have API only infrastructure provisioning. And so in some organizations, a virtual machine is provisioned and then a series of scripts or hand tasks kick off to start configuring that operating system or installing the operating system to exactly what it needs to do, the jobs that it needs to run. In Bosch, that's called the CPI or the Cloud Provider Interface. And it's a series of 15 APIs that make provisioning virtual machines, disks, and networks common across both VMware infrastructure and APIs and public cloud. Now why does this matter so much to getting to high scale automation? If you think about how these two features work together now, there's an embedded operating system in every virtual machine that is created by Bosch. So Bosch knows exactly what it's starting with. The second thing it knows is that it's created that virtual machine only through an API and it knows exactly how everything is running on it. That virtual machine created by Bosch then has a Bosch agent, which knows every job that needs to run. This is very different than what I would call the random VM um, chaos that some organizations battle with, where they've provisioned a virtual machine for a business user, user and a unit, and then that virtual machine is configured by the business unit with a series of operational scripts, and then if anything goes wrong, they still call the operations team to say, hey, this isn't working. In the Bosch world, we know exactly what the operating system configuration is, and we know exactly all of the jobs that have been configured to run in that virtual machine. 
if any of these processes in any way malfunctions or needs restarted, Bosch, the Bosch agent knows how to do that. And so it can constantly keep everything that it has in that declared state and healthy. We'll talk a little bit more about that, but that's sort of step two in the magic of Bosch. And again, that's Google scale like thinking and control. When you're at Google scale and a process dies on half of 1% of the systems, that's still a massive amount of workload that you've lost. And so this kind of low level, um, high availability thinking has been designed into Bosch from the start. The real final piece of magic though is it brings together that embedded operating system and the API only provisioning to say I not only know how to run these jobs, I know how to upgrade them all to version 2, from version 1 to version 2 in a rolling update. This is powerful because it allows Bosch to be one of the only systems on earth right now that is upgrading many enterprises on a daily basis between version 1, version 2, and version 3 of anything running on the platform. A really critical example of this might be version 1.1 is a CVE. Think Spectre or Meltdown when Intel uh, discovered that vulnerability. How are you going to apply tens of thousands of updates? With Bosch, our users are able to push a single button Bosch update uh, with PCF. And that embedded operating system that we're managed was updated in a rolling way through APIs through this approach. These three features working together have changed the entire way organizations run. Uh, Wells Fargo presented at Spring One Platform that they're able to completely rebuild everything they have from scratch with Bosch every three days. And what this gives them from a security perspective is a new way of playing the game. Every virtual machine has a time to live of three days in their example. That means if there's malware on the system, it's recreated every time there's a Bosch update. So malware is much harder to uh, be a threat. The CVEs of the virtual machines are updated every three days as well. A major CVE comes out, we've tracked on average once a week that needs to be applied by our clients. Some users before would wait months and months and months to apply those critical updates. Now with Bosch, they're pre-tested and API driven to be rolled out. Again, that comes back to knowing exactly the state of the operating system, the virtual machine that we're updating. We're able to make those updates with confidence. You know, I was just talking with a client today and they said, that sounds great, but how do you do it with confidence? It's really these features working together in the design of Bosch, inspired by that Google scale and control. The final thing that Bosch does every time it does an upgrade is that secrets and credentials are all recreated. So now you have a time to live on secrets and credentials running in the platform of only three days or classically called password and uh, secret rotation. So all of those things are core features inspired by Google, but now proven to run uh, you know, half a million or a million or more containers in production in enterprises with PCF. Thank you.